Well, he's a man that oversees some 7 billion euros. Janos Kontopoulos is Chief Investment Officer of Eurobank EFG, joins us live now from our London studio. Thank you very much indeed for speaking to us. And so then let me ask you about the European banks, and it looks like they will have to raise, what, another $153 billion of extra capital, according to the European Banking Authority. We were just hearing about that there. Does that make you, does that give you more confidence in the banks? Does that make you think that this is more realistic to have recapitalization on this level? Or does it in fact make you more wary as an investor? I think the uh, new information that we got yesterday in terms of the figures is that uh, German banks need to raise a bit more funds than was previously thought. I'm not sure whether the market is prepared to take any number at face value at this stage. Uh, but nonetheless, uh, having some sort of overall monitoring of the situation is probably helpful at this stage. Unless you really deal with the overarching issue, which is the sovereign debt issue, it's going to be very hard for the market to put its hands around the full amount that might be needed from the European banking sector. So on the margin, uh, I would say slightly uh, better uh, in the sense of getting this information in the monitoring, but overall I don't think it makes a huge difference. Let me then ask you about the direction that banks are going in right now. Are you concerned about next year because the European banks are going to have to refinance billions come 2012? Is there a risk that it's just going to be too expensive for them, that they are going to struggle to raise that funding? Um, in essence, again, it will be more of a combination of uh, what the sovereign states will do uh, within the European uh, setup. Uh, over the next year. In essence, if you have a, a certain feeling that things are going to be uh, relatively stable going forward, uh, then I think the banks will be able to deal one way or another with the financing needs. Uh, the recent initiatives that you had from uh, the LTRO, from the uh, ECB, in terms of uh, uh, giving financing for three years to the banking system at a fixed rate, and the ability of uh, national regulators to provide guidance to uh, peripheral banks uh, within Europe, I think creates a setup that if we really think about it, is in essence a way of uh, guaranteeing financing uh, in the course of the next few years. So overall, I wouldn't say yeah. that I'm, I mean, I'm mentioned... overly concerned. You're not overly concerned. I mean, you mentioned, you mentioned the sovereign debt crisis and the fact that there needs to be some sort of resolution or at least a little bit more vis visibility, a little bit more certainty. As an investor, how, how closely are you watching these developments taking place in Brussels? We have an accord, a pact of sorts, essentially bilateral, bilateral agreements between governments for more budgetary restraint. Does that give you more confidence when it comes to investing in the region? I think on the margin, yes. Uh, at the end of the day, what we got uh, yesterday and the day before is that, uh, in essence, Germany is happy with the developments, the ECB is happy with the developments, and the IMF is happy with the developments. That gives me, that gives me a, bit, a bit of more confidence in terms of staring at uh, 2012. And I think that uh, once we get part of the uh, carrot uh, involved in all these negotiations, then I think the market will uh, be able to feel a little bit more confident going forward. Very short term, I think the indication for us is what the ECB will do today. Is it going to be in the market? Is, it, is the S&P going to be on today? And I think it will. Uh, and as such, I think the market is going to start feeling a little bit more confident in terms of the, uh, what they got uh, yesterday, which, by the way, was very surprising that we got it in one night. I think most people expected to get something by the end of the weekend. All right. Really good to get your perspective. Thank you so much, Janos Kontopoulos, Chief Investment Officer at Eurobank EFG. Appreciate the time.